children. Welcome to Sunday Club. I trust that you're all keeping well and I hope that you will enjoy today's session. Two brothers, two brothers, and one of them was greedy, greedy brothers, two brothers, and one of them was greedy, greedy, he said, Daddy, I want my money, money, he was the prodigal son. The other good brother stayed on the farm to work, he work, the other good brother stayed on the farm to work, he work, he greedy brother spent his money, money, he was the prodigal son. He spent it, he spent it on having fun and drink it, drink it, spent it, he spent it on having fun and drink it, drink it, he spent every shiny penny, penny, he was the prodigal son. The money was finished, and so he fed the piggy, piggy's money was finished. So he fed the piggy, piggy's. He was broken, kind of stinky, stinky. He was the prodigal son. He went home to daddy to say, I'm really sorry, sorry. Went home to daddy to say, I'm really sorry, sorry. Dad says, son, let's throw a party party he was a prodigal son the brother who stayed home was feeling kind of grumpy grumpy brother who stayed home was feeling kind of grumpy grumpy he said dad you must be crazy crazy he was the prodigal son said daddy to sonny we're gonna have a party party, said daddy to Sonny. We're gonna have a party party. My son was lost. Now he's found he found he. he was the prodigal son. My son was lost. Now he's found he found he, he was the prodigal son. Father's Day today and we're going to talk about Father's love and Jesus used stories to explain Father's love to us. This week I'm going to tell you a story about a father who had two sons, the older one and the younger one. They both understood that they are loved by their father and then one day when they are old enough, they are going to inherit their father's wealth. All the money out the field, everything that belonged to their father would belong to them one day. But their father was a farmer. He enjoyed farming and he was trying his best to teach the children how to farm, how to be good men, how to grow up from boys to become good men. Then, as they were growing up, the older boy would like, like doing all the work, he would do what he needs to do, go on the farm, <clears throat> help with the planting and the growing of plants. He did everything he needed to do himself. But the younger one was a little bit lazy. He really didn't like doing much work. So he thought, hmm, I don't really like being on the farm much. I want to go and see the city. I love to go into the city, he thought. So he got up one morning and said, Father, you know I don't really like the farm and I don't like being on the farm. So you know you said that when you die, we can have your money. You're going to share it equally between my big brother and me. So can I have my share now so I can go and start living my life? And the father said, No, my dear. Stay. Because we are a family. He said, no, 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 Father, I would want to go and see what the city and live a nice, comfortable life and enjoy myself. And the father reluctantly gave him a bag of money and he was happy. Children, 
please, please don't ever do that because that's disrespectful to your father. And he went off into the city. When he got to the city so he could make friends, he started spending money and buying things for everybody that he met so that he could be his friend. And lots of people came around him and they became his friends. They were together. They ate together. They drank together. They danced together. They sang together. They were ooh, ooh, partying. He was having fun. But every time the father's looking out of the window to see, oh my goodness, where's my son? Where's my son? I hope he's safe. Then, soon enough, there was no more money. All the money was gone. What was he to do? It was time for him to get a job. So he went to one of the people in the city and they said, look, I've got a pig farm. You can come and work on my pig's farm. He was happy for the job and think, thought, well, at least if I work in this pig farm, the farmer will give me some food. And he started looking after the pigs, but the farmer said, no, I'm not giving you any food. And he would look at the food that the pigs were eating. He said, oh, Oh, I wish I could have some. That looks so delicious. And then he came to his senses. His tummy was grumbling and rumbling and growling from hunger. And he said to himself, You know what? Even the servants in my father's house have food to eat. Why should I stay here and starve? I will go back to my father's house and ask my father for forgiveness and say please 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 father can i be a servant in your house i'm sure he will give me a job so he went back to his father's house and because the father was always looking for him trying to see where he'll come one day he saw him coming at a distance he said wow that's my son and he ran and went and grabbed him oh my son my son welcome back servants please 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 bring the best coat bring the best shoes put it on his feet and they were so so happy father said we have to have a big party to welcome our my son back home for he was lost now he's found for he was i thought he was dead but he's alive thank you god but he was so happy and the father organized they were having a party dancing and celebrating and really 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 happy then the big brother came and asked the servant what's going on Oh, your, your younger brother came, you know, he came and your father is so happy, so we're having a big party. And he was furious. How dare he come back after wasting all that money and my father having a party for him. I work hard so much, so hard for this, my dad, and he's never even given me a small party. Look at the big party he's giving this, my younger brother who is wasteful. And the father came to him and said, It's all right, calm down, calm down, father, calm down, son. Don't worry about it. We can have party any day you like and any time you like. Your brother was lost, but now he's found. He's come back to us. Let's celebrate together. And then before the big brother calmed down and they started to celebrate together and that just shows us that you know God like a loving father always gives us a second chance when we repent and say we're sorry for what we've done and we know we've done wrong and we say we're sorry we come back God always forgives us gives us a second chance and it also shows us that we should value fathers so today being Father's Day, I think you all need to give your fathers a big hug and wish him a happy Father's Day. I hope you have a lovely Father's Day. Bye children, all the best. Hello everyone. I tell you what, moms are great, but dads are special. And today is our day, our special day. So this is what I'd like you to do. Go grab a hold of your dad, wherever he is. And if you're scared, take a moment here and say, What's up, Pop? I love you, man. And tell you what, he's going to be over the moon. I'm sure some of you children, you might remember um, our family who 
they're living in Bosnia, living and working in Bosnia, the Thomas family, where we have Adam, Rachel, there's Micah, Talitha, Ezekiel, Hadassah, and Isaac. And today, as we celebrate Father's Day, we have a very special guest who will be joining us and helping in our prayer. Dear Lord, from a father to you, a father to us, I pray that you will instill in my heart and those hearts of the dads or father figures of our Sunday Club crew and anyone watching this video at this time, that willingness to forgive our children when they have gone astray. Give us that yearning desire as fathers and siblings alike to embrace them with unconditional love and affection as we lavishly celebrate their return to the good ways of life. In the very same way, you lavishly pour out your grace on us when we do wrong. Amen. Bye, see you next week.